that's uh, probably best known for her role as Marsha Brady mm -hmm. in, the, in the Brady Bunch. But Maureen McCormick's latest role takes her to center stage now as she plays uh, Betty Rizzo. She the, looks exactly the same, Reach, I tell you. <laughs> the tough but lovable leader of the Pink Ladies in the hit Broadway revival of Grease. Here's Maureen McCormick. Have a seat. I, have to, I have to feel your muscles. You look great. Really? You look great. I saw you one day on the show without your shirt on, and you look no. hot. He's no. buff. He Kidding. looks incredible. Well, that, that, was, that was some time ago. What a bust. Really? Yeah. And, and, and you didn't forget it, did you? No, no. No. I think about it every day. Really? I do. I do. How exciting. <laughs> Little Marsha Brady's grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you had your big opening night on Broadway. I did, and I'm so glad that it's over. The the opening night jitters are, you know, are, oh, sure. are crazy. Must be incredible. Yeah, and it was it was really strange because I had never gone through the show. Um, I had been rehearsing in in it's dance halls here and sure. in front of mirrors. So when you get in front of an audience, it's totally different. But it worked. You did. Yeah. It worked. Have a full performance on stage before you took never, over. You never. Never. That's you, unbelievable. And I, what, Oh, it's, it's But when you really, join a cast, a show in progress, how can you get hard. on stage? It's yeah, it's it's very very hard. We had a brief uh, dress rehearsal where we went through you know different things, but never the whole thing all the way through. Oh so my I was gosh. I, the, the the Friday night, which was opening night, um, I was running off stage and saying, "What's my next line to the to the stage managers?" And they knew them. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, that that. That's like your worst anxiety, you know, when yeah, you, when you yeah. wake up in the middle oh, sure. of the night because you haven't studied for the test, you know? Oh, and to have a little mental blackout, has that happened yet? Um, well, la uh, <laughs> Saturday, Saturday what was happening, um, it was the, the ending scene and I'm doing a duet with Sandy and I'm supposed to sing, Sandy, you must start anew, don't you know what you must do? And I came out and I sang, sang Sandy, don't you know what you must do? Don't you know what you must do? Oh, so. And Sandy but, was saying, but, but all I guess right. Nobody, <laughs> if you hadn't said it, nobody would have known it. Right, right. Uh, but I'm having uh, a great time. It's, it's really a dream come true oh, for sure. me. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Great role. I'm wearing a dark wig, and, and people don't know who I am. And you're it's, Betty Rizzo. And I'm Betty Rizzo. With and an I attitude. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's really fun. You get nervous before the show? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I always get nervous, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I guess that's part of it. I don't think everybody knew that you were a singer, though. How long has that been important? You know, I've actually been singing. I was singing way before I was acting. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. We had Ann B. Davis on the show I the other heard, day. Yeah. I heard. Cooking yeah. from the Big Isn't cookbook. she the sweetest? She's dull. I love her. Mm -hmm. She's on uh, tour with Crazy for You. Yeah, yeah. But now you've got a daughter, right? You're all, you are all grown do. up. Can you believe she's got a five-year-old daughter? Yeah. Uh, and has she seen yeah. you on stage yet? Uh, not yet. She's she's coming with Dad in, in a couple of weeks, and I can't wait. I miss her so much. And where is he? Uh, they're in California. Uh -huh. Yeah. No wonder I'm looking good to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem being an actress, though. Great. Don't push it. And me. listen. Just be gracious, remember? <laughs> okay. I wanted to tell you, I've got a, a country album that's coming out in the spring, and... I'm looking for somebody to do a duet with, and I heard that that you might be available. And do I have to sing, sing. with my shirt off? With your shirt off, definitely. <laughs> with my shirt off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know that uh, that'd be very nice. I'd, I'd love to do a duet with you, sure. And you actually wrote some of the songs on the yes. album as well. Uh huh. Well, good for you. So you're all set, kiddo. You're in Greece. You're, you're riding high. We don't have a, a clip, do we, from Greece? I wish we did. I don't think so. Yeah. It's such a happy show. Yeah, yeah. It's got a weird it's... moral, but it's a happy show. <laughs> <laughs> just, just don't be the good girl. Just uh, uh, be, be, become a slut like become me. Become a slut, and you'll be happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> now here you are, just to reminisce, just for a yeah. second here about the old bunch. There you are up there by uh, Florence Henderson, and there you are. You haven't changed I'm at sorry, all. I'm sorry, we should do a split screen. The only, the only <laughs> thing that's different is the part on your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Well, all right. Listen, Maureen, thanks so much for coming Thank by. You. Good luck for this one, okay? Yeah. I'm back with Joseph Mazzello from Jurassic Park and the River Wild in a moment. Guests on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee stay at the Michelangelo. Intimate, fashionable, very Italian. The luxury hotel in the heart of...